This is a secondary school in a village called Swavesea near Cambridge in the UK, where all the national curriculum subjects are taught. What are the human qualities required to be a teacher? I was asking some students earlier on, actually, as well, L many things. I think the most important thing is a sense of humour. I think it's important to be enthusiastic, positive, uh, optimistic, but also realistic. I think it's important to be uh, interested in people and to genuinely enjoy um, being with your classes. The students can tell, I think, when you don't want to be there. When you're teaching a class, you have to look like there's nowhere else you'd rather be but teaching them. They have to feel that you are confident uh, about what you're teaching. They have to feel confident that you want to be there with them. Consistency, being uh, consistent, fair and firm, I think is really important. Would you say that you are a good student? I think I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well behaved, yeah. I'm getting, I get good grades. And I think most teachers like me, hopefully. <laughs> and do you like teachers? What would an ideal teacher be for you? Mm. I think it would have to be like a firm but fair teacher, if you know what I mean. It's like, it has to be, it has to be fun and energetic and it has to like involve the class. But when it comes to it, like this misbehaviour behavior in the class, there has to be a strict teacher as well. Flexibility. When you're working with 30 teenagers, um, nothing is 100% predictable. There's always something unusual that happens. I think it's very important to be able to cope with, uh, flex with, with changes. Uh, so being a perfectionist isn't possible, I think. It's important to be able to be flexible and to compromise sometimes. Can you describe to me your ideal teacher? Um, I guess one that kind of listens to what a student has to say, so rather than just saying, I'm the teacher, I'm right. Someone who's energetic and fun and who's not afraid to make a fool out of themselves. The teacher would have to be fun, but they'd also have to be quite patient but understanding. So if I didn't, un so if I didn't understand anything they were teaching me, um, I would be able to tell them, they'd be able to explain it to me. Patience, perseverance um, are quite important. Uh, we deal with so many different things in the teaching profession, like difficult students, but also pressures from government and pressures from, from our, our bosses, you know, um, board of governors or, or headmasters. And we have to try to ba balance those pressures and, and keep moving forward. Um, we have to be patient with our students, but we also have to be patient with the fact that the government changes educational policy <laughs> really frequently. Um, yeah, and I, I think it's, it's the type of job where you don't work a standard nine to five job. You don't, you don't finish at five and then forget about your job. You very often go home and continue working, which, uh, which is, can be difficult to adjust to for people who are used to a different format, I guess. Many things, really. <laughs> but no, it's a great job. It's hard, it's hard work. Um, but I find the students very inspiring uh, most of the time. There are some that aren't very inspiring, but most of them are uh, positive people to be around, and I think they are very uh, yeah, energetic and can be quite inspiring. Yeah.